Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about shock angle position. Now, there's a lot of guys out there who will, you know, make a setup change and what they'll do is they'll simply, you know, swap out the springs either for a softer spring rate or a harder spring rate. And I find that's just time consuming where you can just simply change the angle of the shock. And what this does is it just changes the ride stiffness just slightly. And sometimes it's almost the equivalent to changing a full spring rate. Now, the great thing about changing the shock angle is you can do it quickly. And you can do it quickly through tests. You know, you can simply, you know, take your car out on the track, do a little, uh, do a few laps, see how the car handles. And then, you know, if the setup isn't up to your liking, you can quickly unscrew uh, the upper shock mounting position. And, you know, either go down one hole or go up one hole, and that will definitely give you a different spring rate and feel. Uh, and you can go out and quickly test that. Now, what's interesting is the springs that I have on this car right now are SMJ Silvers, okay? Now, SMJ has uh, blue, which is the softest, and pink, which is uh, slightly harder than the silver, which I have on the car right now. Now, the interesting thing is, um, if I was to have the SMJ Silver in the second hole position, right now it's in the third hole position, but just for uh, uh, sake here, uh, let's just say that the SMJ Silver spring is in the second hole position. The ride stiffness right now is 80, uh, 0 0.8, sorry. Now, I could simply switch out to a blue spring, which will give me 0 0.74. However, I can just simply shift the shock angle down to the first hole, which will bring me down to 0 0.75. So I'm very close to what I would be running if I was to have an SMJ blue spring. And the same can be said if I go up to uh, you know, the third hole um, using the silver spring. The third hole gives me a value of 0 0.84 ride stiffness. Now, if I was to simply switch out to a pink spring and put it at the second hole, it's 0 0.85. So there's really very little difference between, you know, the spring changes. You know, just simply change the shock angle and you'll be able to get very close to, you know, the spring rates that you would have to go out and, you know, take the shock apart and, you know, assemble and reset everything. So really, just use the, um, the shock angles and uh, it's a quick and easy tuning feature to find out what direction you need to go with uh, your car setup. You know, don't hassle around with you know, disassembling the shocks and switching out this spring for that spring. Just adjust the angle and uh, give it a try. That's why the holes are there. Okay, bye-bye.